Chapter 3, 8.04 p.m. We made it to chapter 3. Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. The telephone in this apartment being out of service. My only hope of escaping is to find another telephone. No Mr. Desklamp here. The only friend I have to talk to is... That nice little doggy curled up there on the floor. Alright. Talk. Oh, talk. Oh, hello. What's up? I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try. Not the only thing I'm really good at, though. It's working. There really isn't much else. I think he might be right there. I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The lady next door kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these parts. Okay, so we need to get the dog to bark and for her to knock the wall down. And then we can get into her apartment and to her telephone. All right, let's operate the remote. I'll knock this wall down! If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you! Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door is angry, Howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about buying her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. Hmm. Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door. And I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. If she's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part though, if you don't mind. I have to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. Create more racket. There's some more racket. There we go. I'll pound this wall open! Did the dog die again? I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive. You are, but the TV and the star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute, it looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? Your barking made her create a path for me. There are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those 
Flames and Pips. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Wow, it's completely busted. Probably from the shock wave that emanated from that woman's pounding. I didn't know anything like this was possible. I guess my ghost tricks are nothing compared to the wrath of that woman. Hey, we're through. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. <laughs> it is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. I want a dog like Missile. <laughs> Good luck, little guy. Good luck. Like a literal missile. Tonight is that holiest of nights. My deadline. All I need to get some inspira inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Update of the phone book. Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with the oddly tense air of this place anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it. All right, let's try to get over there. Even now, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone, and fast. I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. Guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. There's that mouse. Come on in, little guy. Oh, wait. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm. Ruination? Is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. Oh, wait, no. She's still talking. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. Oh, this is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Is she a, a romance novel writer? Let's tilt this thing. Boop. Where is that dictionary? I'll get you next time. I guess this woman isn't the type to scream when she sees a rat. It's more like she takes him as a challenge, something to be hunted down. I can kind of identify with that way of thinking. Hmm. I wonder if I can use this personality trait of hers. Okay. Examine the dictionary. Wait. No, I mustn't. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. 
And it's so strong, it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered, if you can be overwhelmed by something, can you just be plain whelmed? Oh, this is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Examine the dictionary. This thing is too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman, woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Where is that dictionary? Let's see, I know I put it here somewhere. Now, where could it have gone to? Uh, mouse again? I just can't find it. Oh, it was too late. No, Mr. Prime Minister, we mustn't. If the people ever find out. I don't care what they might think. What do the plebeian masses understand anyway? Certainly not our love. Hmm. What is this Prime Minister talking about? I've never even heard the word plebeian before. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. this dictionary on the shelf it's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me perhaps my darling angel get in there nice we moved knob oh what a cute little girl look at her little pigtails what is it my darling angel ow my head hurts mama oh you poor dear and no wonder with a fever of 102 here is to a night of high fever Hotter than the love of my prime minister. What is wrong with her? It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now, Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I just have one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You're writing novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama. What the fuck is happening? These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. Sounds like their family's circumstances are pretty complicated. 
I wonder if I had a family. Oh my, my lamp is out. My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence to be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. What? Does anybody here read romance novels? Is this how they go? I've never read one, should I? All right, turn the knob. Wait for her to grab the paper. What's this? Dictionary, oh, dictionary, okay. And get in that paper. Whee! Oh no, I still can't reach. Waste basket, open. Ah. Uh. Pause. Telephone. We've done it. Hello. Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Oh, how many times? Who's talking? Uh, tonight is that holiest of nights. My deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if it means forever! Let me talk to Amelie then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I REFUSE TO ANSWER! Well, this lady is really something else. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. All right, um, let's, I mean, I really want to go there, but let's go to the junkyard. We got to save Lynn. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. There's my body. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Hey, we can talk to our lamp friend again. And beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is too. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start your criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. like she was in some kind of immediate danger. 
Not to mention the fact a hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Mm, I better see what I can find out. Trick time! Yeah, it reminds me of the Pixar lamp too. Quite a thing, huh? This case. Yeah, one of her own, a murderer? Heads will roll up over this. And she's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to a Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm, I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy. I think we can safely assume that cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting for a bit, doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of this special investigation unit, is on his way now. Special investigation unit? What would they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanel is our top investigator. We don't want to get them all bent out of shape, or they'll be held to pay. Hm, I don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanel wants to come for either. Probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> Okay, so this guy is <laughs> already very, uh, he's a ham. Is that the word? He's a big old ham. Quite eccentric, maybe? Ah, the ten tension of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. What? This is amazing. He thinks he's Michael Jackson. His moves. <laughs> Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. So this is the lead of the special investigations unit. He seems, uh, unique. character is just so crazy looking look at this lady's hair plus the, her neon green shirt deal me the deal how's it going over there baby going how is it going you ask you'd like to know how it's going oh that one is a guy what the fuck okay going how it's going you ask you'd like to know how it's going i would say it's going well enough about fair to be average if i had to say yes it's going all right that's a guy 
not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park. Yes. Oh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. <sighs> sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. We can go to the park now as well. Now then, sir, if I might make my report, sir. The dock! Yoo-hoo! Oh, dock! Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, dock? Don't, you, don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah! Nothing like it, baby! Oh, ha! Oh, yeah! Carry on, boys! Good luck, sir! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Phew, that Inspector Cabanella. He sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. And I've never seen anybody who stares the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I hear Lin is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? <sighs> okay, so we need to get... Um, can we get anywhere else here? Or should we go to the park and see what's going on there? I don't know if we can go up to the, uh, the chief inspector's office or whatever. I seem kind of stuck. Hey, lampy guy, can you just lower your head a little bit? Huh? we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no! That pistol! Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? <gasps> Maybe she did kill us. Maybe she did kill us. Oh, examine the pistol. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... Oh, shit! Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective! Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you! Well, I guess it proves it's a real gun. Bang? What was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun!
I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime scenes? Um, if you say so. Firing this gun is one thing, but killing a poor detective in the process is another. That's alright. If you kill one, you can just save him. I don't think I need to increase my workload right now. Better not fire it. Alright. Ah, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Uh, he seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Oh, there's a gun sh gun in the window. Gun bullet hole in the window. There you go. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? Uh, oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, greeny. Get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it you never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. It's for his office. Please, doctor. Go to the superintendent's office immediately. <sighs> if I must. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. This shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. All right. I guess we should phone ourselves right on over there. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. Sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. As long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anyone else die. Chapter 4 Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No! Lynn! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I cannot allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigate, and you, Superintend, you have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? I don't know why he's French now, but he's French now. <laughs> I think it fits. Yeah? Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I. Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Updated the phone book. What do... Does he just have, like, a pile of dried-up bird shit on the, like, the back of the top of his head or something? How does this work? There's so many very just strange-looking characters. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you. She's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Ah, 
How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing! I'm looking away from the gameplay? Oh, shit. I thought I had this set up right. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do now is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lynn! How could I let this happen to you? Desk lamp. We can turn it on. We can swivel it. Uh, we can examine a notebook. Well, let's do that. What's up with this blinding pink, pink notebook? Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying it up? Right, well, I didn't learn much from that. Bag. Motor. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? She's coming too? What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. It's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There! Now this is more like it! Super cute. Super cute. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could have anything to do with my death, I wonder. Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ah, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. About me. I'm looking for the answers to the questions. Who am I? Why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. Why not? Because I don't know you. What do you mean? I thought you said you remembered my... You remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way. All right. Let's ask about Lynn's death. So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. 
How could this have happened? After I just passed my test finally this year. My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me. Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This isn't actually the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot by a blue man dressed in all black. I guess that means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Yep, she bounces back quick. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? No, wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding! Y you mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight, way out here in the middle of nowhere? You gotta be kidding me! It goes without saying that I don't remember. Ah! Everything is so confusing! Can't you do something? Uh, uh, Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. And you do. Do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why I was killed? I'm really sorry. But I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life... I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. Well, then you can just stay dead! Ha! <laughs> but I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of time? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. No, use it. No, do it. <laughs> do it. That's what I would do. I'm just kidding. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Let's do it. All right, puzzle time. Let's see how I do.
Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me, but she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I have a bad feeling about this. There's that pink book. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Too bad. Food's on the way. I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Mm. <laughs> Evening, patrolman! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir. Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm. Never? Maybe? Oh, uh, well... Uh, for tonight, I mean... He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see! But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now, and I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if you ever... If anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella? I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! It seems to me that Baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Yeah. 
You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh, boy. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be, be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Okie dokie! Oh, move. Sorry. I forgot how to do this game. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is, but it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. What? He doesn't even remember what science is? That's pretty crazy. Oh. Time is passing. Hi, Gamer Tragic. Hi, Kelly Morrow. Examine. These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I really think... I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch, this lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. Oh. Okay, now I can get to this. There we go. Now I need to get, oh, I need to call, ugh. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line grows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal! Oh dear. Uh, let's turn on the lamp. Alright, uh, really cool. Let's swivel the lamp. Alright, now let's Oh, this still doesn't give me enough. Hmm. Still can't get up there. Here we go. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I'm just getting her in trouble. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Okay. Uh. What's up? I've been watching Lynn like just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. 
in a very suspicious manner and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let you on, don't let on you notice anything. Hey, look at that. The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is. Go there. Yes. Go there. Shwing. I've been waiting for you. <gasps> what are you? A desk lamp? It sounds like an old grandpa? Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. Alright, I'm going in! I'll get him with these ghost trick thingies! I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Anyway, we don't have much time. Come on and hop in. Carry on, boys! Okay, we got a checkpoint. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then! I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. I'm not big on the idea of you getting shot again either. Alright, let's see. We can turn on the blender. Oh, right. The flag, the fan. Yes, yes, yes. Time's running out. Okay, turn on. Turn on the blender. Turn on the fan. Get in the flag. And... Something will happen. Alright, we're up! We're up here. Okay, turn off the searchlight. Okay, yeah. Do that. Ah, there he is! Look! There he is! Way up there! The horrible hitman! I think his name is actually Tengo, but I guess that doesn't matter. Come on, let's go grind him into pieces! Wish you wouldn't use such violent expressions. Besides, I don't see any cores that'll get us over there. I think we might have missed our chance already. Timing is everything. Huh? We failed already? No. Oh no. Well. Sorry, girl. Rip. Hmm, he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Uh, sorry, girl. You dead.
No! Even if we block his shot, that only buy us a little more time. It doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with evil is to crush it completely! This lady detective is just a little excessive. Guess I better rewind the clock. Let's do it after the fate change. We did get a checkpoint. this one off before I do anything else I think okay who's out of their guard oh do I have to do the siren to get him to come over here realize that's what triggered him to <laughs> Nowhere to go except back here. We're not gonna touch the umbrella. We're gonna raise the gate. And we're just gonna wait. I guess he'll pop up here or something. I hope. Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up! When did I become her assistant? Lower! Uh, lower! Boom! Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me! Nobody said it was! There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Yay! We did it! Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I- why don't I have powers like yours? 
if I could do things like you, it could really help me pursue my case. With only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the th same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight, I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, I guess we better be getting back to the present. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Um, all the guys are gone. Oh, I know what I have to do. Now I have to use the umbrella. Bingo. Okay, so wait. I can't really get there from here though. Oh, we can use the phone now, maybe. Well, it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gone any further into solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the Sipper's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I better go back to the Sipper's office and see her. It sounds like a good idea. Alright. Super's office. It's so super. I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. Maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Would that case be connected to me in any way? 